Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Try Hard Cupcake and today I have a pretty sick video for you guys. So the video you guys are watching in the background is uh, gameplay from the beta, the Infinite Warfare beta. It came out yesterday and let's just talk about that for a minute. So the beta came out at 1 p.m. Eastern and if you guys don't know, I uploaded a video yesterday talking about a 72 hour live stream over on the Try Hard clan and that was pretty exciting and stuff. But man, oh man, this might have been the biggest failure I've ever seen for any beta ever. So initially, as soon as the beta came out, it was unplayable for the first hour. And everybody was upset. And then everybody got into a game. After an hour, they tweeted out like, uh, we got into our servers and boom, we played a game and it was nice. As soon as everybody played their first games, the servers crashed and nobody was able to play for like another six, seven hours. So I literally sat there streaming for seven and a half hours, just sitting in the chair waiting for servers to get back up. Um, but once it finally came back up, the game's pretty fun and uh, I ended up getting this gameplay way later in the day, like 11 hours into my uh, shift. I streamed for 12 hours. So the, it's a little bit campy, but this is like the one of the smaller maps in the beta, and I'm just holding down this area with uh, this assault rifle. This assault rifle is pretty damn good, man. It melts people. It literally just destroys people. Um, this was my first game playing Defender. Defender is kind of like Team Defender from Modern Warfare 3, um, but let me just explain the game mode here a little bit for you guys. So. Like Uplink, it has a ball that spawns right in the middle of the map, and you guys race for the ball. I've played a game similar to this in real life. Um, it's hard to explain, but I'm going to tell you guys anyways how, how it's played it in Call of Duty. So you get the ball, and when you get the ball, it, it, stay, it stays up for 60 seconds. And you can throw it at people, or you can hold it, and the time that you have with the ball... Um, adds up to your points. The score goes up to 250. So let's say you grab the ball from the middle and you hold it for the first 60 seconds. Uh, the timer counts down. That gives you 60 seconds, uh, 60 points, and first one at 250 wins. So I was just kind of playing kind of defensive and with this assault rifle out, um, but I ended up picking up this submachine gun. It's really really good, but um, I ran out of ammo on my assault rifle, and then I ended up picking up ammo, I think, right here, actually. So if you look at the bottom right, I have 22 bullets, but I'm going to run over some ammo, and it's going to say 22, and um, it's going to, like, say full, and that's that. So I believe this is the world's most kills and non-lethals up to this point. I'm not sure. I just I just woke up not too long ago, but I know it was yesterday. Um, I ended up getting 75 kills with all gun kills and specialists and stuff like that. See right there, I just picked up the ammo, and I, I switched back to it. So that was pretty nice. This gun is amazing and it's very, very underrated. I don't see a lot of people using it, but it melts people. It literally just disintegrates them. Um, but yeah, so like I was saying, I think this is the world's most kills. 75 kills non-lethal, meaning they're all gun kills. I didn't use any kill streaks. If you look at the bottom right, I'm only running the UAV, so I can just keep getting that UAV every, every 400 points. And it is pretty nice. So, if this isn't the world's most kills non-lethals, I apologize. I know a lot of people have already got 100 kills and stuff like that, but they're using score streaks and stuff. So, if you guys like this video, please leave a like rating on it if you did enjoy. And I'll try to bring you guys some more gameplay later on. Thank you, and peace out.